It's a Russian-built missile system, and it's causing a rift between NATO allies. The decision by Turkey to buy the S-400 air defense battery from Moscow has annoyed the United States. They're now threatening sanctions if the missiles are deployed in Turkey. It may be too late for that. I'm not going to say that we will purchase the S-400 missile system. We already have purchased it. It's a done deal. Next month, this system is going to be delivered. The S-400 is one of the most sophisticated surface-to-air missile systems in the world. It has a range of 400 kilometers and can shoot down up to 80 targets simultaneously. Designed to detect, track and then destroy any airborne machine that poses a threat. And Turkey says it's needed in one of the most volatile regions of the world, with a conflict in Syria that's lasted eight years and numerous missile attacks on Turkey. An air defense system is perceived as a must-have facility. Not only the Syrian uh, crisis uh, influenced Turkey's defense, defense industry, but also the changing security dynamics in the Middle East, especially the proliferation of the non-state military actors and terrorist organization in the region. It's been made clear by the government here in Ankara that they want to develop an indigenous defense technology, one that can be customized to their needs without being over-reliant on any other nation, and that includes the United States. The preferred option in the eyes of NATO is the US-built and combat-proven Patriot Defense Shield. It's been used in Turkey before, operated at various times by German, Spanish and US forces. But a deal to buy the Patriots was not agreed with the United States, and there were concerns in Turkey over a veto by the US Congress. But as things stand, the second largest army in NATO is soon to deploy the Russian S-400 missiles, no matter what the diplomatic complications. Francis Collings, TRT World, Ankara.